Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in free voice recorder for audio recordings on your Windows 11 computer. So if you want to record audio by yourself, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record it and then save it on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is select the search magnify icon. Type in voice recorder. Best match to come back with voice recorder. Go ahead and open that up. So it appears it has to check for updates. So if you haven't opened it up before, likely we'll have to check for updates as well. So just be patient and give it a moment here. And then once it's open, it's going to ask if it can access your microphone, which we will allow. So go ahead and select yes. And then at this point, it should be connecting to your microphone settings. And then it's a very simple and easy interface here to work with. You just click the blue button in the center to begin recording audio. And you can tell by the circles going outward if it's picking up audio or not. You can also click the pause to pause the recording of the audio. And you can select the add a marker button if you want to add markers to the audio. So let me just say I'm going to add a few marker spots. So basically little highlights that will pop up if you're listening to the audio again. And once you're done, if you're finished with the recording, you can just select the blue circle in the middle that says stop recording just to end the recording. And you should see, again, the audio should be playing here. And you can see the different markers we've created for highlights in the video. So you can go in here as well. You can share it. So if you click the share button, it'll give you the option to email it or share it via email or devices that you might have connected to your computer. So if you have other devices nearby, you can share it that way. You also have the ability to trim the voice clipping as well if you want to make it shorter, perhaps, if you want to cut out the beginning or the end. And you can save it by clicking the little Save button. You also can just delete the clip here or other clips. If you have multiple ones on the left side, you just select the clip. And then you can select the trash can icon to delete it. And you can also rename the clip, so normally it just would be a default name here, but you can name it something specific to better define what the clip is. And then you would select Rename. And if you want to open up this file location, just if you wanted to save it to a flash drive or move it somewhere else, you can click on the little three-dotted icon in the bottom right corner of it. And you can select where it says Open File Location. And then you can drag it over to your desktop or email it, for example. And if you're curious what the file type is, it's saved as a .m4a file. So pretty straightforward. And if you click on that settings again, and you select where it says microphone settings, you can adjust it here as well. Make sure that it is turned on for the voice recorder. You want to make sure the mic is enabled and has access. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And if you just want to open up the voice recorder video library, or I should say audio library, and not just begin the audio recording, you can just open up the voice recorder. And then since you already have a voice recording in here, it should open up the library. And if you want to do a new recording, you just select the little blue button that says record, and then you can record more clips. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do apologize if I help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.